Are you ready? Let's go play the course. It's important to get you on the golf course, put all this learning together, and play the game. This section will help you make that transition by helping you with things that aren't normally taught in golf lessons, like rules, etiquette, pace of play, driving your cart, and more. We want you to be completely comfortable on the field of play so that you're not anxious or nervous about people playing with you or around you on the golf course. We're going to play hole number three at Apple Tree Golf Course. It's a par five hole, meaning it's long enough that even a professional will require three solid shots to get to the green. This is the tee box. It is marked with different colored markers. Most courses have three sets of markers, typically red, white, and blue, some having more than others. The furthest back being for the very best players and the more forward markers for those just learning and those who don't hit the ball a long way. As a new golfer, I recommend you play ready golf, meaning whoever's ready hits first. Normally, the person who had the best score on the previous hole wins honors and should go first, but ready golf is very common and helps keep the pace of play moving. You can place your tee between the markers and up to two club lengths behind the markers but not so much as an inch in front of the markers. Place your tee in the ground, the ball on the tee, then step back and take in the hole. Where do you want to hit it? On this hole, since it's straight, we're just aiming for the middle of the fairway to be in the best position to hit the next shot. Take a practice swing, aim your club, then grip it and rip it. Now, as we're driving to our shot, some golf courses have more restrictions on where the cart can go on the field of play. Some make you stay on the cart paths, some have a 90 degree rule, and some don't much care. It's best, however, to minimize the amount the golf cart is on the fairway by staying on the cart path as long as possible, then angling straight over to hit your shot. Hit your shot, then return to the cart path. This is called the 90 degree rule. If it's not practical to go back to the cart path between shots, just try to drive down the sides of the fairway instead of down the middle. Okay, here we are at our approach. Rachel's ball is closer to the hole. The furthest always goes first, so it's Corey's turn. He'll do the same routine he did on his tee shot. Evaluate how far you need to hit the ball. Look for any trouble circumstances you need to consider. Choose your club. Visualize a great shot. Take a practice swing if you choose. Aim it, grip it, and rip it. Nice shot, Corey. You're on the green. No golf course likes to have the cart near the green. It can be dangerous for you if it's a sloping green, and it can ruin the quality of the grass. Make sure your cart is back on the path and walk the short distance to the green. Now we're on to the green. Rachel is farthest away, so she will go first. Corey will mark his ball and get it out of her way by placing a marker behind the ball away from the hole. The flag stick will also be removed as long as Rachel can see the hole. Meanwhile, she is studying her shot. If Rachel were too far away and couldn't see the hole, one of the players would tend the flag for her. This means standing off to the side and making sure a shadow wasn't cast across her line of putt. Then stand quietly while she prepares to hit her shot. Once she hits it, remove the flag and lay it clearly out of anyone's way. It must be removed because striking a flag stick or anyone's golf ball results in a true stroke penalty for the person whose ball struck the object. Rachel has hit a wonderful putt and the ball came to rest close to the hole. If the ball is close to the hole, you should finish it instead of marking it. This saves valuable time. Once Rachel is in the hole, she should stand near the flag to be ready to put it back after everyone finishes. This also saves time. Corey will finish, 
and we head to the next hole. Wait to get to the next hole before writing your score. That allows the players behind to hit up to the green. These little time-saving tips add up to significant time on the golf course. Our goal is to always allow you as much time as you need to prepare to hit a shot. It's the small things we do in between hitting shots that speeds up play.